why am I here? My name is Jansi Gaur. I'm a Kassan, a farmer, a daughter of farmers, a daughter of Punjab. One hot Vasaki day, ten years ago, I carried lunch to my husband in the fields. Brushed, hanging spikes of wheat, I, I looked for him, called out. And the rotis fell. Red, a jar smeared the stalks. A strong man laid low, shriveled as the crops that cradled him, a bottle of pesticides in his hardened hands. Choking in, in debt, dying in debt. My heart cracked like the earth below. Why did he kill himself? This government and these big companies spent years saying, buy GM seeds, buy stronger pesticides, grow your crops, grow your profit. So we did, spent all we had borrowed, what we didn't have. But our crops were failing. A, a few borrowed rupees became hundreds and thousands of rupees. Debt dragged down my husband till he had nowhere else to go but the soil. With three young children, the death passed to me. Me? Alone. How have I managed financially? As farmers, we pray for abundance, but we're always living on the edge of loss. I sold most of my land, land passed down through generations, land meant for our children. Every day I, I rise at 3 a.m. to pray, cook, clean the house, uh, milk the buffalo, till the land, sow the seeds, raise the crops, raise my children, paying for their study for a way out. I, uh, I'm still paying off our debts, only now I know the real price. Our soil poisoned, our water poisoned, our bodies poisoned. We're paying with our lives. What do I think of the government's new farm laws? <laughs> they didn't ask us. Hmm. We're not business people. We're farmers. We serve and feed others. They just slip the keys to our land, to their corrupt billionaire friends, selling us off, throwing us to do markets and big companies, our blood, their profit. Bus. <sighs> Enough. When did I join the protest camp? This government told the women who were already in the camps to go home. So in the villages, we women got on our tractors and drove to Delhi. I sleep in my trolley tractor, others sleep in tents, some on hard ground. My brother looks after my land and children. Every few weeks we swap a rotation system just like our crops. When one farmer leaves, another ten come. We have uh, libraries, clinics, ambulances, even a foot massage tent for our elders and free sanitary supplies for all the women. Our langa kitchens 
feed everyone, even journalists who call us criminals and terrorists, all the police who put up cement barriers, fire, tear gas and icy water cannons at us, beat and jail us. Our currency and profit here is seva, serving others. Even in the face of struggle, we still sing protest songs and rally each other. The spirit of Charthi Kala. How long will we protest for? We'll sit through harsh winters, scorching summers, bruises and bloodstained cotton till they hear us. Chetakaro, we're farmers, patient by nature. If the government throws down sharp spikes in our path, we'll cover them with soil and grow flowers. We'll grow a real green revolution, hands steeped, feet pressed in soil. We'll spread roots from these camps to the world so people can see us and hear us. I was born on this soil and I'm ready to die for it. Only this time, I'm not alone. Kasan ikta zinda bad. Kasan ikta zinda bad. Kasan ikta zinda bad. Kasan ikta zinda bad. Kasan ikta zinda bad.